the 1990s and the hard problem. Many living researchers will tell you that the current field of consciousness science really started as a community in the 1990s. Around that time, several hugely influential scientists advocated addressing the problem empirically head-on. One of them was Francis Crick, who we already mentioned briefly in Class Zero. This attracted great attention from the popular media. Academic societies and journals were formed, supporting a community that continues to exist up till today. So what was the problem of consciousness, really? What led to this sense of urgency, almost like a need for a scientific revolution? The problem is this. So far, we have tried to understand how the brain works by treating it a bit like a computer. We use terms like signals, channels, circuits, pathways to describe how it works. We speak of how some brain activity supports computational processes and representations. These are all terms we borrow from electrical engineering and computer science. So, in other words, we treat the brain like a machine. A machine made of neurons and other biological tissues, but a machine all the same. What matters is what computation it does. We have done quite well with this approach, haven't we? But now and then, there is this issue that sticks out a bit. For example, do rodents feel fear like we do? We know they have their amygdala, with anatomy and physiology highly similar to ours. They show freezing behavior when they are supposed to be scared. But how can we be sure that they experience anything consciously? And if you take this to the extreme, how do you know that I, this person in front of you, feel anything? All you observe is my behavior. You can measure my brain activity, but you cannot directly measure how I feel. Philosophers sometimes invite people to think about far-fetched scenarios like this. They want us to imagine, what if I am a zombie? That is, what if I am just programmed to generate this behavior, but actually I have no conscious experiences? Is it possible? And if it is at all possible, how do we ever rule that out? It is as if there is a gap in explanation. Science is about accounting for objective, observable data like brain activity and behavior. But conscious experiences are intrinsically subjective and private. To the extent that one can understand how the brain computes information, one should be able to build a machine that does the same thing. It can generate the same output or behavior. But how would we ever know if it feels anything? What would it take to convince us that there is something it is like to be that machine? If what goes on in the brain are ultimately physical processes, which is all we can study scientifically, how does it explain subjective experiences? This problem of trying to account for subjective consciousness in objective physical terms has been called the hard problem of consciousness, a term that came out in the 1990s and has been highly influential ever since.